Hi, Jumbo Habari, how are you? This is Teacher Raya. In this session, I'm going to solve a question on Venn diagrams. We will start by doing a little bit of algebra and then we're asked to draw the Venn diagrams and then we need to find some probabilities. So this question is from the Nectar Form 4 Mathematics Paper 2020 and it's question 3. So before I start solving this question, I have a tiny request. If you do enjoy my videos, please remember to subscribe. It helps uh, my video to be seen by other students. Thank you. And also if you like this particular video, please remember to like and leave me some comments. Thank you. Let's start the session. So we're told in a certain school, 40 students were asked about whether they like tennis or football or both. It was found that the number of students who liked both tennis and football was three times the number of students who liked tennis only. Furthermore, the number of students who liked football only was six more than twice the number of students who liked tennis only. However, four students liked neither tennis and no football. So first we are asked to represent this information in a Venn diagram, letting X be the number of students who like tennis only. And then we are asked to go ahead and find some probabilities. So let's go ahead and put all these words mathematically. Okay, so let's start where we are asked to uh, let X be the number of students who like tennis only. So tennis only is going to be X. And we were told there were number who like both tennis and football was three times the number who like tennis. So let's just put that down. Tennis and football, what is that? Three times of the number they like tennis. So that's going to be three times X, which is three X. And then those who like football only, what was it? We were told a uh, student uh, who liked football only was six more than twice the number who liked tennis only. So twice the number who liked tennis is 2x plus six more. So that's going to be 2x plus six. And then no football uh, and no tennis, that's going to be four, we're told. There are four students, they don't like neither of those spots. So let's go ahead and find what X is. What is going to help us find X? Well, we know all these numbers, all these students must add up to 40. So we're going to form an equation, okay? And it's just going to be a linear equation. So don't panic. So X uh, plus 3x and then we're adding plus 2x plus 6 so plus 2x plus 6 we need to add the 4 and all these students they must be equal to 40. now add like terms so x plus 3x is 4x plus 2x is 6x so we've got 6x plus 4 and plus 6 so that's going to be plus 10 equals to 40. so now we need to get rid of this 10 by doing the opposite of addition so we're going to take away 10 on both sides okay so 6x then is going to be equal to 40 take away 10 so plus 10 minus 10 that is gone and now that's going to be equal to 40 take away 10 which is 30 and now you're going to divide both sides by 6 so 6x divided by 6 that's just going to give you x and then on this side 30 divided by 6 is 5 so now we know the number of students who like to play tennis only is 5 so let's go and put that in this is 5 the number of students who like to play tennis and football 
is 3 times 5. So this is going to be equal to 15. The number of students who like football only is 2 times 5, 10 plus 6. That's going to be equal to 16. So now we can see 5 plus 15 is 20. And then 16 plus 4 is another 20. Together they make 40. Let's go ahead and draw our Venn diagram. Okay, so we need two circles because there are two sports in this case. So I'm going to draw my first circle. Okay, and my next circle. Remember guys, you need the rectangle as well. So there you go. So one of my circle is for tennis. And the other circle is for football. And in this, uh, my diagram, including in the rectangle altogether, I must have a total of 40 students. Four students don't like these games, so they're going outside here. And then we're told tennis and football, students who like both is uh, 15 of them. So the 15 is going to be in the intersection area. Okay. And then we're told five, they just like tennis. So they can't be part of intersection. They just like tennis only. So they must be outside here. And then there are students who like football only. So again, they cannot be in the intersection area because those students like both games. So 16 just like to play football. And if you add all this up, you must check 5 plus 15, 20. 16 plus 4, 20. 20 plus 20 is 40. Let's go ahead and do the B part. So that was the A part. The B part, we need to find probabilities. So let's do B, I. We're asked to find the probability if a student is randomly selected that they play football only. So probability they play football only, okay, is going to be equal to how many play football only? 16 over here. And how many students do we have altogether? 40. Okay, so that's going to be 16 out of 40 divided by 8. Uh, on both of these numbers. So we're going to get two fifth, two over five. That is the answer for BI. And now for BII, we're asked to find the probability that a student like both football and tennis, football and tennis. What's that? That's the intersection area, right? So that's going to be 15 divided by what? Total number of students. Okay, so that's 40. Divide that by 5. Okay, we're going to get 15 divided by 5, 3. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So for this part, the answer is 3 8. Right, guys, hope you enjoyed this session. Have a good day and bye for now.